What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Big Hands. Uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys had a fun and safe uh, holiday. Um, as for me, I took it real slow this year. Uh, didn't do much, watch um, fireworks from inside. And got bit by very few mosquitoes this year. Instead of becoming a feast. Uh, for mosquitoes which happens every year but um, in this video here I'm gonna show you something that will probably frustrate you but it is fun to learn uh, the one thing you got to do is separate uh, the deck uh, one half red the other half all black right it doesn't matter which way you choose right on the top black on the top it doesn't matter so the idea here is going to actually be a false uh, in the hands riffle shuffle. Um, I've been learning. I've been doing this for a few things for uh, a little while now. Um, I don't have it down 100%, but I'm going to go through my handling and how I get into it. So basically, just starting off. Um, um, Basically, as best you can, split the deck in half. I take a look at that card to figure out where I'm at. So I know I should have all black up here. So when I do the shuffle, um, um, it exactly won't be accurate. Um, you will have to know how to pharaoh shuffle. Uh, for me, when I pharaoh, I basically put my finger here next to both uh, edges of the deck. This one here and this one here. Right? And then with slight pressure, I kind of push down and in. Down and in. Uh, it is aggressive way to uh, Pharaoh. But I knew this wouldn't be great because I didn't exactly split it in half. And then what you're going to do, this is about three quarters to an inch um, uh, we woven together. Now what you're going to do is put pressure on the opposite corners. Um, in this corner here and this corner back here. Use your hand under the base for ca to catch it. I got to go a little faster. Let me, let me redo that. They actually weave pretty good. But I'm actually going to get it separated at the halfway point. Once you be that, this jack of clubs. So what you're going to do basically, weave it, push it in flush, so you see that over that uh, nice weaving there, woven area, and then just basically push down and catch. So you, what you're going to end up with is cards that are out jogged like that and then what I do is basically take take my thumb and separate the packs like that separate them again and then once again um, I know that Jack was my uh, um, my middle card but what I did notice was I saw an ace of diamonds a red card uh, within the black. This is what I mean, how it's not uh, uh, exactly accurate for me anyway. So it's a really, really hard, um, frustrating move, uh, slate, but it can be done. I've done it. Um, if anything, which, what it's probably good for is if you want to control the majority of the top pack, right, we'll say... The top four, so the fourth card would be the three of clubs. Right? They can physically see it getting woven. You do the move. You out jog. Right? And this is actually a good spot because what this is telling me here is we know our red, on the, our red is on the bottom. And I see a red card here. So I'll just sandwich them immediately. And then with any luck... Um, 
looks like that was a pretty good successful uh, control. At least, at least keep him black from red. So this is what I mean. It can be done. Um, no way. Like I said, I'm, I'm not exactly accurate at this. But I just thought it was something interesting to learn. So once again, we'll take this packet here. Get it woven in and like that. And then... Right? Another thing you got to contend with is, say, these cards on the top, if you don't get it perfect, right? Uh, after you uh, do the shuffle, you'll see these cards kind of bouncing around a little bit. And I'll show you. Okay, that time they actually held down pretty good. But sometimes the cards will bounce around in here. So when you do the shuffle, um, these cards may get mixed up red to black, red to black. So when you peel this part, right, you can actually tell that some isn't exactly accurate here. Okay, maybe it was. So red there, black there. And we'll take a look, see how we did. Reds, reds. Reds. Alright, looks like we did pretty good. So for now, that's basically my handling of it. Um, like I said, um, if farrowing is an issue for you, you probably want to stick away from this. You'll really frustrate yourself trying to figure it out. And... Um... Just go through it slowly. Um, it's definitely not going to be easy the first time around. It's going to feel pretty awkward probably for you too. But it can be done. So you, you kind of want to speed it up a little bit to get the good uh, shuffle. You know. The slower you go here, it won't shuffle right. So you basically want to put some tension in that deck like that. And there's... I think that was a good one. So there's uh in there. Right? Yep. Another successful one. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um good luck in doing uh the slate if you try it. It's definitely uh, definitely something to kill an afternoon with or watch a movie with, so um thanks again for the continued support and we'll do it again.